All right, here's the defective part. And I did get some uh, parts, so it should be the same. Uh, they are the white ones on the outside, so these are a bit more modern, so I'm hoping they're not brighter, because if they're brighter, then these aren't gonna match very good. Um, so hopefully they're vintage as well. Um, but uh, we should be able to pop one of these in here. I bought two of them. And uh, so we'll go over here to the unit. There we go, look at that. Uh, 7.22, let's go down some voltage. So now we have a working voltmeter. We can do some calibration, but uh, we have a working segment. And we fixed that uh, power supply problem. So I think all, all he needs is a quick calibration and, uh, and we'll be ready to go. I think that's pretty cool. All right, um, I, I was gonna film the calibration, but it was already in Cal almost. Um, you set the clock speed of the ADD converter and that was already where it's supposed to be. And then you set the uh, two voltages. You set uh, um, 0.19 volts and there's an adjustment for that. And then you set uh, 19 volts or uh, no, 1.9 volts, two volt scale. And those didn't, did need to be calibrated. And then uh, now, now I'm measuring ohms and this, that's 10 meg and it's spot on. Let me go to, uh, let me go to uh, 1K ohm, uh, push this button here. Oops, my buttons are, there we go. And it's uh, 0.99. So this thing's perfectly in cow for resistance. So it's ready to go. So we're all set to go. Um, so I'm just going to put the, uh, put the case on and we'll be done. All right, it's a nice meter. Uh, the bale has not broken on them. A lot of times the bales of these on these things break, but this bale is in the. Let's go ahead and hook up the power cord and uh, make sure you get the bale now. So that looks very, that looks very nice. Turn it on and uh, it's complaining because it's in ohms. It's saying, hey, you got, you got nothing there. And DC volts and uh, yeah, we are good to go. Very nice. Give it back to the ladies.